The quadruped side kick through is an animal flow inspired movement as you'll see a lot of MMA fighters using this as a staple in their training. This is an extremely effective exercise for your hips, shoulders, and rotational core strength, which transfers to your vertical jump. To perform this movement, start from a quadruped position on all fours like a lion, and pivot off one foot to allow your body to rotate to the side. Then follow this movement by kicking the elevated foot through. While engaging your core, you'll reverse this movement slowly back to the quadruped position. The standing hip car, which stands for controlled articular rotations, is a functional range conditioning exercise which explores ranges of motion beyond your frontal plane, movements from side to side, and sagittal plane, which are movements from front to back. This movement builds stability at all angles of your hips, and this is key for elite athletes as stability allows you to generate vertical power efficiently without wasted energy. To perform this movement, lift your legs as high as you can while engaging your core and keeping your arms stiff to your sides. Then turn your foot outwards and kick it around as if you're stepping over a fence. From this position, you'll slowly reverse this movement. The 90-90 hip switch with extension is particularly important for external rotation and extension of your hips. This activates muscle groups such as your gluteus maximus and lateral rotators, which are important for producing power into the ground. While keeping your arms out to the side, get into a position where your front and back leg are at 90 degrees. From here, bring your body off the ground and transition slowly to repeat the movement on the other side. Now we'll be doing some frontal plane hip activation. Hip activation exercises are movements that you can use before every jump workout, as they're able to prime the lateral and medial muscles in your hips, which means they'll wake up the muscles, allowing you to have better mind-muscle connection. Let's start off by activating the hip abductors, which are responsible for bringing your legs away from the midline. We'll be performing quadruped hip abductions at a pace of three slow reps, followed by three quick ones. Now we'll be activating the hip adductors, which are responsible for bringing your legs towards your body. We'll hold the adductor side plank for 10 seconds on each side. Now we'll be doing some sagittal plane hip activation. So hip extensors are posterior chain muscles such as your glutes and hamstrings, as they are the main muscles responsible for acceleration. To activate the hip extensors, we'll be performing leg lifts from a quadruped position at a pace of three slow reps followed by three quick ones. Hip flexors, including muscles such as your iliopsoas and rectus femoris, are the primary muscles responsible for deceleration. This is important as deceleration will help you convert your horizontal momentum from your two foot jump approach and transfer it vertically. To target the hip flexors, we'll be performing supine leg lifts at a pace of three slow reps followed by three quick reps.